Right then, hello, so welcome to part number 58 of my Let's Play Rome Talk War campaign. So on this part, I need to try and A. Orders. One might. Prepare for battle. Play. Oh, it's only. Okay, that's good. Under sea, sir. That helps. Yeah. Then do that. Wait until I can actually attack, because they'll be in that army anyway. That will probably put the advantage of battle in my favour. Unless they sally forth and try and attack me. I can't, it doesn't normally do it. It might do it, but I can't see it. Oh, not again! All the pretty ideas are really annoying me. No, not having you. You've got Drill Master. I don't like Drill Master. Yeah, I know about that. They'll pay for that in a minute. So I'll go through all that in a bit. No, right. You. That's fine. What, what's in What's in love, is it? Can't remember. White. Oh, this is my broken army. Okay, fine. Ugh, it's got onagers again. Right, it's got cohort. The best thing he's got are his two Praetorians. So I need to basically, if I can wipe out his two Praetorians now, I'm fine. Because he'll probably leave. Because they'll have very high value. So if you wipe them out, I'm making my life so much easier. I think maybe having like uh, siege equipment is like a bad thing for the computer because it doesn't it doesn't use them. So it probably makes it weaker. It's supposed to, it, like normally it'd be like oh yeah siege equipment not 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 bam 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 blow a hole in the in the wall march in the computer doesn't really do that. Destroy them! Destroy them! Get them! I've got five of them. Oh, they are! They're coming for me! Ah! Okay, fine! But war commence! Got no, he's got no other way though of getting in. This kind of caught me a bit off guard, got to be honest. Right. Why is my boiling oil? Ah, just kicked in. I just saw it kick in. Oh, am I in? Oh, wait, wait. What's happening now? Not right. They're fighting. They're fighting. What about you? You're fighting. Where are you? You're there just chilling. That's pretty funny in a way. Get out of there. You do not bit. I think he kind of charged in, expected to win, like, by like, just out power. I mean, it, 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 it basically didn't work. So now he's got to rethink his strategy. I think the computer just thought, well, I can just out power this situation. It, it, it hasn't worked. My knights, my units. See, they're in the brinker phase. I've actually done really well. Oh, he's sent me starting. That's why. He's, so he's sending units weaker than mine. Enemy 
general flees. Pray God. Forward, so the spirit of his army is broken too. No. 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 Just wait. Let my, just let my towers do all the fighting. I'm not fighting like anti hand combat when I don't need to. This is meant to be a Sally Forth battle, and it's kind of gone a bit weird. Where are they? They're, right, they're running over there, that's fine. I need to wait though until they've actually come back into the battle. Otherwise, the game will just be like, nope, you've lost like 400 men because you've, it doesn't count as a draw. It's a weird system. So I have to I have to sit and wait until all my men have like come back into the battle. They might have actually come in and actually tried to attack me and they failed, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who attacked like who. I need to get them though, because they're dangerous. My general nearly died, that's the only bad thing. Well, I can't end the battle until thingy, can I? Either A, like B, A, you've got A, you've got to get everyone off the walls. B, you can't have any men fleeing the battlefield. So I've got to wait until they get to the centre. Come on! Where are they now? They're there. So you've got to go up here. They're nearly there, so they've got to run up here, up here, up here, and then they'll probably get to that flag, so then they're, they're not that far away. They'll probably get there by the time they come off the walls, actually. So I've got to wait for that anyway. He's got one Valete, one Mercenary Paltas, and then he's got 130... 130 he's got... Actually, no, he's going for the walls. He's going for the lads. Right. This is an unusual strategy by the computer. He's actually being clever for once. I don't like this. General, get over here. I don't want my archers dying. So you're going to have to like walk all the way up there now. And get completely out of the way. The only good thing is, if he's going to lay siege to my walls, fine. But he's actually taking losses. So I can actually verify this now. Because basically, he's going to try and lay siege to the walls. And his men are dying. And he can't really say it's cheating, because it's not. Oh, what's he doing? Is it because I've put my army there? So it's like, it's trying to like, move. I don't actually know what the computer's doing anymore. So I've got him, him and him. So basically him, him and him are defending. Right, you need to be in the group. So the last three lads at the end, right, or there's you, there's you, and okay, you're, you're in the middle, right, whatever. Fine. You attack the walls and that stops. Don't get what it's doing. It's like, what the hell? Oh, he's attack. hold on, he is attacking me. Right, where is he going? He's going to try and attack this. Okay, it takes about... 22%! Okay, fine. So what's he got now? 54 legions. 22 Hastati. 
Five for store. They'll probably be dead though by the time. Great, you're walking right through where he's actually gonna. <sighs> right, you. Right, uh, where are my other. Where are I... Actually, where are my other legion? Oh, they're on the other side. <sighs> right, gonna have to march quickly. Right, my archers are probably just about out of the danger zone. 48%. He's mucking around a lot. I don't know if the computer knows what to do. Like, because it doesn't normally do the strategy. So it's just like, yeah, it's really bad at sieging. He might actually be trying to hit my troops behind the wall, but he's actually definitely hitting the wall. And because it's hitting the wall, the computer's like, oh, I need to get all my troops into this position so it could, they can march. He's actually got all his troops away from my towers, I think. Oh, what, what, I think that one tower might be able to hit them. But that will do much damage. So basically now, it's going to be a five. It's going to be a five. He's lost 50 percent now. So my towers might have done the damage already, to be fair. If he walks in here, though, there's no towers. I don't think. Oh, there's one. And I took out three people with it. Oh. Please wipe out those Sistarti. Because that's one less group I've got to deal with. It just means I've got to muck around with, like, stragglers. He lives with a perfect plan and he's been an idiot with this Sistarti. Like, what's he up to? 59%. These might actually make it. I thought these would be miles away, but these actually might make it into like into battle line, and I've only warped them. I think it might be because I keep moving my troops, so it's like, oh, what what, what do I do? So it's time to sit there, re reworking everything out all the time. I don't think I can hit him from here, surely. Someone's getting shot, but I don't see where. I can hear, like, firing from the towers. Oh, is it that one? Is that one shooting now? I think that tower might be hitting them. So he's moved them out. I don't know. What, what is he doing? This is just funny. I think it's trying to make it so I don't, he don't get hit by towers, but... Because his army line is so long, if one tower doesn't hit him, the other tower hits him because they just put it right in the middle. So he can't dodge my towers. Not in that formation. Well, he'd have to thin his battle line, but he won't. Come on. What is he doing now? Well, I've killed 1% of his arm because he's been mucking around. I love that he's got three hood starting left. That is pretty funny. Yes, he's hit. It's stupid to put his Praetorian Guard on that flank. If I can get one of them, that's 2% of his Praetorian Guard gone. That's why like important. Because the, the thing is, they'll have a lot of hit points, won't they? Seventy percent. Seventy-two percent. He's going to get through soon. 
Any minute now, there's going to be a full on war. Oh, crikey me, that was close. I have took out 8% of this Praetorian Guard though whilst he's been trying to seize my towers. So that's quite a big loss for him. You two lads, what you're probably going to have to do is like... Uh, you can stay like... I might actually leave them there because... Yeah, it's fine. I'll repair my walls in a minute. Finally! It shouldn't talk about nine sieges to actually find out our siege equipment. Where? Oh, Lord! What's he doing now? I don't think he's going to try and attack. I think what the game is trying to do is get his, get his catapults to attack my units. He just doesn't know how. So I've got a feeling he might just stay here forever. I think that's what he's going to do. I literally think I'm going to have to see him. And I'm just going to have to literally arrow them all to death. I don't think he's going to actually attack. I'm going to have to march out. But I need to wait until his things are been. I need to sit and wait until his things are run out, his catapults. So I'm going to put this on time. Now, see I think he's trying to attack my men because now it's moving. I think he's going to try and attack this wall. I think he's after my units. There he is. Right, over there now. I think he knows he can't, I think the computer knows it can't win in a power fight, so it's trying to use its catapult things to like take out some of my troops. That's why I had to like leave this wide open for now. I wouldn't normally do that, like against a human player, like no, there'd be no chance. I'd probably just take a few losses. This is like the most interesting battle I've had in a long time. Because it's not doing what it normally does, it's actually using siege equipment, which is really weird. I don't think I've actually had a proper siege battle where it's actually coming with like loads of siege equipment, wreck my walls, and then it's tried to actually like... You can't just sit there forever, it's got to attack eventually. Is he trying to take out my tower? I think he might be trying to take out my tower. So he can march in. That is pretty clever though. No, what's he trying to attack now? Oh, uh, is he trying to attack the wall so he can get one unit in here and one unit in there? That ain't going to work, because you need two lots for that. It would do if he probably got his ballista and got all his ballista units to attack as well. He might just make it. Because ballista do 24 damage. So if he goes all your ballista damage directly on the wall, but you'd have to put them about here. So your towers. Oh no, yeah, take a bit of tower damage, but you might. it might work. I know that. I'm waiting for, the, I'm waiting for his siege equipment to run out of attack. If my general wasn't so dead, I'd just get my general to charge out. I don't want to just charge with just siege equipment. Oh my. I've got no cap. And I've got a feeling if I charge out the gate and I just let like, one unit at a time attack, I'm doing, I'll get, like, I'll just get crushed. So I can't really do that either. Because no, in my luck, I've moved my best infantry. I'd have to. Oh, hey, oh. Now, oh, what's he doing? Now he's attacking this bit of the wall. He is, he's after that. He's after thingy, isn't he? I'm 
not actually sure what he's trying to do. This is if he does not blow up that tower, then that's like quite that is that cool, oh god. 39%. 46. If it blows up that tower, that's good play by the computer because that's what a human would kind of do, but he's, they wouldn't leave an army here, like, like lying around. He has lost 4% of an army, which he shouldn't have done. Which I'm not moaning about. I think what it might do is get to about 60%, and it will just recognise it can't win, and it will just retreat his whole army. So I might just have to sit it out until, he's got, until basically I've killed 60% of his army, then the game will just be like, oh, I can't win this battle. This too, I'm outnumbered too badly, I'll have to retreat. Should do anyway. Normally does. Maybe 55%. Anytime maybe between 55 and about 60%, I think it will just recognise it can't win. It will just it will it will just it will kind of give up. But because I've he's destroyed the walls, it might be like no, we're we're going to attack. Surely once he gets to 60% then, 6% it normally like, oh we can't win this battle, it's, the difference is too big, so eventually I think he'll just run away. I'm hoping so, because I really don't have to sit here until this hits 100%, because this is going to take forever. Well, he's got 110 Praetorians to go through, 108 actually, but it's going to take forever. Just retreat your army and go away. I don't want to have to really fight if I can help it. Can you please just leave L Lubbersick alone? You've tapped me like a few times here. I don't think it's attacking anyone else, is it? 34. Uh, 30. Actually, no, it's just attacking one of them Prinkipades. So it's attacking the Prinkipades and the Cohorts at the same time. Is it attacking these? Yeah, it's attacking them and also it can attack them, them and them. I bet it can't attack the Hastati though, can it? Because they're quite far away. No, it looks like it can't. They're probably a bit far away. They're too far away. Well, I'm thinking, really, if those Prinkipates die, you might put the Hastati over. So once the Hastati and the Prinkipates are all dead, I might just get my army in marching. Because all it's going to have then is about 100 of these. Well, 95, like, probably about 90 of these. 150 and about 80 of them. And then everything else will probably just run away. So I might just charge in. Oh, I didn't recognise you had them there. Retreat, finally! It's retreated. Okay, that's what I wanted. 58%. And it finally it got the retreat button. Okay. I thought it would eventually. I just didn't think it would take that long. It's probably a 50% advantage. Because he's got... Or whatever. This. Yeah. He lost 1,097 troops. He actually did the right thing. And then he should have attacked. And he just didn't do anything. Victory. Honestly, he could have won that. But the game was just like... No, nah, you can't do that. You know what, it's a good thing I actually had those, like, uh, like them there. Because they actually hold the, like, his main army off. Repair that, and repair that. Yeah. I need walls repairing, desperately. Right, Lovazik, 1-0 to me. On the other part, I actually beat them here as well. So I'm kind of winning 2-0 at, at this point. Not that important, but I'm going to retrain it anyway. Seven and sixteen. What are they? Better. They've actually got better attack, but worse defense. And they've got two better charge bonus because they've got the thing, yeah. They? They've got the experience. That's why. Otherwise, it would be about the same. So that's like having barbarian cavalry, really. 
and they're about the same in upkeep and all. They're just a little bit cheaper to recruit because they're 800, they're 520. So they're a little bit cheaper to recruit. Might have to build roads here. Or farms. They're only 50, but I kind of do need the, the growth. It's only 1%. Again. Not a lot of money, but I'm going to need growth. So I'm going to have to. That's fine, because they will be uh, thingy. They'll get that soon, so that'll fi that'll be fixed next turn, right? That's fine as well, because that will keep people happy in the dryer. That's been repaired. Love of them. I'm surprised he's not attacked Love of them. I want no troops in Love of them at all. They would have been better attacking this. Like I've got one unit of. That's it. I've got one good unit in there. I'll repair my tavern. Not that being a tap. Yeah, then buy that. I don't actually know what I'm up improving them for. Has it got a. Oh, I bet it's had an armour. Yeah, it's had an armour. It's had better armour. I bet. Right, one now. To the spider shooter. Might actually win that battle now, because A would have took a few losses like me sieging the thing. And B... It says I win easy, but I don't believe that for one second. Never believe that for one second. Like, fine. Weak, 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 weak and weak. They're pretty good. They're weak, they're weak. Really, what's his big threat? His big threat is that is general. He's really got his general and about 400 early legions. Anti, then he's got 84 Praetorian Guard. So really he's got about five it's about a 550 man army versus me. But mine are mainly archers. It's them what's put it into the power battle. That's put it in my favour probably, having that massive friggin' oh, right, you lot attack. Has he got Siege on him? Yeah, he could do... Th oh no, he's got Ballista. So he could try the same strategy as last time, but I don't think he will. He has actually got Siege equipment now, so he could have attacked me. I'm surprised he didn't. He only had one of each, so he had one ladder, one tower, one one ram, and a sapping point. I think they like to have eight pieces of equipment, don't they? I need to be a bit smarter this time. I didn't do very well in that last battle. Let's be honest, that was just, yeah, that was bad by me. So, you, there. You need to go like there. To be fair, they probably won't do much. So what I might actually just do, I might try a different strategy. Because <laughs> they come over here, don't they? a lot of the time. So I might actually try you over there. This might backfire horribly, I don't know. I'm going to try a different strategy. So you three go there. Because well, he could in theory actually use his ballista to blast my wall down. I don't think he will. I've never, it's never done it. But you know, I said that last time. And look what happened. You're the backup units. You're backup. You're backup. And so are you. Right, you. Uh, no, don't go after the auxiliary. Where's the. You. No, go after the cavalry. Go after the cavalry, please. Can you go after. Yes, you can. Okay, good. I want both of you to go after that cavalry. Because that cavalry is actually quite important. I don't like that. I don't like them having cavalry units. Archer auxiliary units. Attack! No, just attack this. Archer. Oh wow! 
It's actually put his cavalry in a really stupid place. So like everyone can get three shots at it. But that, that cavalry is actually quite devastating. Where are you going now? No, let's wait there. Right. Oh, it's because he's too close. Like, you attack that. Actually, no, attack the lead. Attack the lead. Go and do me a favour. Do something useful. He can't take many more of them. No way. That cover is going to be dead in probably like the next wave of move. Like, you! Is that a bit far away? Not for him, because he's a literally right, right there. So that's actually the shortest range. So they might just about get... Yes, they can. Well, they've got 14 Hastati in one go. So Hastati would be no good now. If you had Hastati, you'd get murdered. Because they would have better attack as well if they had archers. So if I was proper attacking with Hastati, I'd get murdered at this time of the game. You'd need at least Prinker Phase, wouldn't you? Then they, I don't think that'd be much better. Attack. No one will be able to get him either because he's literally like hiding away. Oh, they did! Oh, that now was a general! <laughs> it is time to press the attack. I could actually probably win this. Because the enemy gen en a the general's dead. B has lost 21% of his army. So I might actually win this. I went after him, I might actually have half a chance of winning this. Yeah, because I got them down to like 80, so they're only half power now. Leave them, but to be, let, leave them even now. Someone's attacking me, but I don't know who. Well, they're side on. Get no, get these Praetorian cohorts. Didn't even see that. Get them, because they're side on. I think that my own archers might be shooting, like might be firing, but like cross firing it, so they're hitting each other accidentally. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Right, no, you lads, march about here. Hundred forty-one. He's side on, so I'll take like it'll get, it'll take fifty percent more damage. Yeah, because I normally take about six of them out, so I'm taking out. Well, it's actually apparently it's taken out twice as much damage. I wouldn't have thought that would happen, but whatever. Ninety-three, ninety-three is all right. Well played. Can they get? Yeah, they can. You, right, you, you, and you. Just go here for now. And then by the time they probably all got that. Oh. Can he get the Hastati? Yes, I can. So they can't do that, that defensive formation stuff, can they? I can hit them, but only just.
Units, move out. I'm not bothered about these auxiliary troops because they don't get any healer either. That's one thing they don't get either. And then they don't they don't have as good armor and they don't have as good attackers to start it. So really it's like the auxiliary troops are really bad. They should actually have at least like them out of our right to start it. Because I think they have basic training. And only her starter you do as well. Because aren't they like a starter like when you're about 18 and about two years of training? So they have got a lot of training, haven't they? They have two years in like military school or anything. Not sure. They don't have a lot. Wow, well done. Kind of out, but then just sitting there not really doing anything. I think it's. I think the game has to figure out what to do at times. So they're all dead. At least the general. Dead. The only thing is, I'll leave the battle. I'll get another. Degree. Someone else will probably say Someone else will take that role, won't they? I can't really go and fight him because he's still got 161 legions. He's got 161 Praetorians and 161 legions, and it's 116 Sarti. Plus, he's got these, so he's still got five good units there. Like these are quite soft. Like these have weakened quite a lot. Like that's got what 18, that's got 29, that's only got 63, that's probably got about 50 units in it. That has started. That's got 125. So that army I could beat quite easy. What's he got in there? 151, that's quite powerful. A hut he's got 93 there. 106 in that still. Two ballisters which might attack if I go out. Then it's got like 500 units there, so it's still got a big army. I think that's a bit too big to go like head on. I could probably get my Wardocks to charge out and attack his Ballista, but then he might not attack me again, because he'll have no siege equipment, which means he'll have to build siege towers and ladders, which is probably the worst thing I can let him do, because he'll probably beat me. Weirdly. Are they off the walls yet? Yeah, they're not. Right, they're all in. Well, they've just got in position, so they're not that far away. Okay, fine, I can leave in a minute. I think you can leave as long as everyone's in the city, it's like everyone being still and in position. It doesn't like bug the game or anything, because I know this game is very buggy at times. Yeah, so Sal is successful. Yes, 800 men I just killed. He had like 2,200, so... I would say about 20, about 25% of his men were dead. I've, I've killed. The only problem is he's got back... Oh, he's got another army coming. So I might have killed 25%, and then he might actually just reinforce it by the same amount, or probably by uh, even more. So I might have actually just killed an army for like no reason. So, what's he got? Early, early, Legion, Praetorian. He's still got four, five, probably six. He's still got six, seven. He's got seven good units left. So it's not over for them easily. They've still got quite a bit of firepower. Your Honor. Sir! That will probably do for this part. 40 minutes. That's, probably, that's enough for me. And what I'm going to do on the next part, I've defended. This has all been defense. I've defended this. And I defend uh, loves it. So on the next part, what I'll do. Oh, the only thing I didn't check was London. And these No, they're fine. I didn't bother checking Spain, but they've not really built anything for a while.
that will do for this part. Then the next part, I'll, I'll re-attack at Parism. And I'll probably lay siege to Salona. And I've only got to then get four more. I only need four more wins after this. Which basically means this, this, this. And this, probably. I don't know, he keeps sending a lot of big troops around here. I might not be able to actually win it down here. I might have to just hold him off up here. Because love is sick in this, he keeps attacking really, really, like, quite aggressively. So I might just have to hold him off up here. I might have to take this, this, this. And then I might have to, like, sneak an army around here and just take this for the win. Actually, I don't need to, because I could take this, this, and this and take Rome. Which is 50. So I might go after Rome, but the only problem is, the Scipio I've got everything, everything they've probably got is here. And Croton is not happy, why not? Was you're paying high taxes, that's why well, you're paying normal taxes, it shouldn't be paying low taxes really. And then you can go and get that, that'll help. And I'll get that there in all, because they'll probably not be that happy in a bit. And Apollonia, they can just get that, that's fine. Oh, what can I retrain that out then? Ah, damn it. Get my hopes up a bit there. Uh, how many people has Apple only got? I won't really retrain anyone there yet, because it's only on 10,000. You know, apparently 7% would be like, what, 700 people, but I don't think let me, I don't think the game will let me get that many people. How much damage do energies do? 70. But energy, heavy energies do 410. So they're probably for, they're probably for like stone walls. They're probably for like the, the final two. So I assume epic stone walls is nothing for. So you'd have to have two equipment. You'd need two of them to actually do anything. Like Thermon needs better defense for definite. That's fine, that's got an army. That's got an army. Wow, that's growing at 6%. Right, you can build some legions in that case. And I can get some mines there. I've got them all happy apparently. They're unhappy, so that can build there. They're happy, that's happy. That's happy as well. That's fine. Athens is a bit unhappy, but it won't be in a sec, so it's going to get that, and that's fine, that's fine, because in 5 turns I'll get that, and at 25%, at 5%, that will probably, that will probably, 22,000 will probably be above the 24,000, even if I get a few troops, that's probably, those four towns should be fine, I've got quite a nice little town, like nice little thing, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got eight towns over it, over here. And hopefully I'll make it nine. The only thing I've got to be a bit careful of is this army. Why is my spy gone anyway? I was literally right there. Right, you go and spy that army. Oh, that's that three legions one. I think that might have been the one what attacked what was like here. And I thought it was going to attack Bylazora. That was one there, Bylazora, I think. It was going to attack Bylazora, but then it's seen my army attack Salona. So it wants to try and stop it. So what I'm going to have to do is basically attack Salona the next turn. I was going to try and starve it out, but if I do that, it probably won't be good. So I'm going to have to take that by force. And then I'm going to have to retrain my whole army, what's left. And probably build some archers. I just hope I can hold them off. But it's only got stone walls. That's the only problem. Easier for me to attack, but then if he attacks straight after and he's got onages, I could be I could be in trouble. The only good thing really if he tries to attack a queen cup is a bridge. If you put your men on the bridge, it means he's gotta go another way around. So yeah, that's fine. So yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm going to end this part.
And then on the next part, let me rebuild them actually, and I'll rebuild them. That way, when I finish this battle, I won't forget to retrain anyone. And on the next part, I'm going to reattack this army. And I'm going to go for Salona. I might actually start Salona first, I'm pretty confident about that attack, the defence mission. So I'll go for Salona first, I'll see you for that, bye for now.